Good morning, everybody. It just is, I think. Uh, soon be after now. Um, this is a floss tube video. Well, not done one of those for a while, have I? Uh, I think a month to five weeks. But uh, they're still getting longer. I don't know whether I like it or not. It's a long time since I've had it like this. Blast from the past. 70s. <laughs> yeah, anyway. We'll move on. What have I been up to? Yeah, the north wind is coming along lovely. Yeah, nearly done. Well, nearly done. <laughs> nearly finished the words. Um, I'm down to the last two now. There you go. I'm not taking it completely off. Q snap. I think you can see it. Um, yeah down to the last two words I have altered this like I said I was going to alter it and they say what do they say because this is this is the the pattern but here in Yorkshire we say a different version on here they say the north wind doth blow and we shall have snow and what will the robin do then, poor thing? He'll fly in the barn to keep dry and warm and tuck his head under his wing, poor thing. Here in Yorkshire we say, The north wind doth blow and we shall have snow and what will poor robin do then, poor thing? He'll sit in a barn and keep himself warm and hide his head under his wing poor thing that's what we say here and I have altered the words as you can see got quite a few stairs still to put in and I'm down to the last two which are uh, poor thing and the last two words are done in the same red as I did um, the and Mr Robin so then after that it's down to the you know the barn uh, the fence uh, another Mr Robin and finish off all the snowflakes so excuse my side that's uh, that's that one done well nearly done I've been stitching on that for the past five five days didn't do any stitching yesterday I didn't do any crafting at all yesterday um, did I tell you I'd been making <laughs> I think I might have told you I'd been making masks but don't laugh when I show you this you will you'll be absolutely in stitches when I show you this um, don't let anybody tell you you can make a mask in 15 minutes because I'm telling you, you can't. <laughs> no way. Um, oh, I'm just looking to see whether it's recording because this, it's gridded itself off as this screen. I don't know why. Anyway, it's still recording, so we'll track on. Um, yeah, I thought, oh, I'll be clever. I'm going to put double, double cotton make an opening so you can put a filter in and yeah this is it so it's four lots by the time you've folded your first lot of fam fabric because you fold it in two then that's in two that's the filter that I made the little hole you can put the filter in I ordered this uh, from eBay I think I had to wait for that coming didn't have any sandwich ties so um, I ordered some of those and I've, I've sewn one of those in so that you can bend it for the nose and I've made them so that you can wash them but when you have this on <laughs> I'll put it on for you <laughs> when you have this on you can't breathe because it's too thick <laughs> mm. 
No, it, it could be if it is. And you have to have that up there so it doesn't steam your glasses up. Because can you see? Your glasses start steaming up with it. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> There's no way I can wear this when I'm going out. I can't see. It's steamed up. So, yeah, that was the first one. That took me a full Sunday afternoon to make that. And then I persevered. And I made four more, um, which I've sent to the boys. And uh, I only did them like a one piece of fabric, which is, is double when you've done it, with the filter, so that they can put filter in if they want. But um, no, that's... <laughs> yeah that's the end of that one I will only be wearing a mask if I need to wear a mask so far I've not been asked to wear a mask when I go out but I've not been out that much made an appointment for my hair uh, can't get in until the 22nd of July and I've been asked to take a mask with me if i'm taking a coat i have to take a bag to put it in which i can leave my coat in the car um so i've got to provide my own mask so it'll be interesting as to what happens when i go for my hair going <laughs> so let's get back to uh, this uh, cross stitching well you know i sent for crindle that's crindle and I've got the fabric and the crinic for it. And then I sent for the um, oh, specialised threads, um, which they've arrived. I'm not taking them out of the bag because there's too many. They're gorgeous colours. Um, And I think there's some DMC to go with it and I didn't realise that otherwise I could have ordered it at the same time but I didn't. Um, so I think there's a few skeins I need to order of um, DMC. I'm not quite sure, I've not read the pattern properly yet. So I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping that I've got it all there with those fancy threads. But um, yeah, that's it. So I've got my threads, got my fabric, uh, got my crinoch. So that's all kitted up is that one. That's that. Then Oh, it took me ages to get these. Um, I've been looking and looking and looking on different sites. Um, I don't know why it always takes us forever to get patterns from America when they... You see these American ladies with these patterns and they've stitched it before it even comes in the shops over here. Um, things seem to be coming through quite quick as well, so I don't know what the delay is. So I got the last two in the series of... Um, chalkful. Um, this one's Bloom and then I think this is the last one it's called Liberty so I've got all seven of those now patterns um, I'm stitching two I'm stitching uh, the Christmas one and the um, autumn one the one with the pumpkins on so they're still ongoing. I haven't done any more to those. They need finishing off. Then I had this on. Um, I asked somebody if they would. They didn't have it in stock this and they said they would order it. So they let me know when it when it arrived. Which I'm not happy that the postman pushed it through the door and he's bent all the corners. So. Yeah. It's a bit crumpled. So I'm not happy. Uh, sewing club 
There's some gorgeous things in this, the Blackbird Designs Sign Club booklet. There's um, 16 projects in here. Uh, it's a lovely book. It really is. Let me find you. Something that doesn't have a... I love this. Um, this scissors box. That's gorgeous. I don't know where we get the boxes from to use. Um, don't know. I bet it, it shows you. It. Yeah. Love the scissors box. Little drawstring bags. And this one is Oliox where always their housewife and it's um, it's a roll it's one of the rolls that you put your scissors in you that's what it looks like there can't show you the other page because that's got the pattern on it that's what it looks like and then that's what it looks like opened. Gorgeous. So you keep your bits and bobs in it and your thimble and your scissors, your cotton. And then there's a pear tree scissor box. I quite like that one as well. So I will have to have a look into where I can buy the boxes that they're using uh, for these patterns. Pin cushion. It's gorgeous, is that? And this is called Will in Hands. It's a box. They've covered a box. So that's that one. There's quite a few and there's some um, drum, uh, pin drums, that's just one of them. I like this awful box as well. You've got to be careful because patterns on the other side. I like the oval box and I like the pin, pin drum. And then, I think this is a tray, tiny tea drops, tea, tiny tree tops, rose, or thyme. I don't know whether it's another box or a tray, that. And then there's the, there's another pink cushion. So it's a lovely book, is that these are collectors, these Blackbird design books. Um, I don't think they do reprints of these. You've got to get it while you can, otherwise it's gone. Eventually, my uh, part eight of Snow Village arrived. I don't know why, but this one particular company, and I'm not saying who it is, that I order from, they want you to allow a month for delivery. It's in England. Um, there's other companies in England um, that I've ordered things from and they've come within a couple of days of me ordering them. Well, I suppose you could say, well, why don't you, why don't you buy it from them? Why are you bothering? But the thing is, once you subscribe to something like that, you've got to see it through to the end with all the parts. Um, no, I'm not happy that they're telling me to allow a month when I'm getting things that I've ordered from other companies uh, that take in two days. So I complained and they said they'd send another one out, which they did. And it came the following day. Um, so the other one, the original one they said they've sent has never arrived. So draw your own conclusion
that's all I want to say about that because I think I'll I won't bother with this company again. Not the particular company that does the the patterns, but the people in England that are supplying them to um, English ladies. The magazines come today. Uh, cross stitcher, that's the free kit. There's two bits in there: summer stitch along, and um, glasses case with the VW camper van. You get everything in there that you need to stitch with it and this is what it looks like on the front cover and then there's just a sample of what's inside. I do quite like those um, and then the um, stitch along which is Alice in Wonderland it's painting the roses with the cards. I think that Alice in Wonderland stitch along is quite good if you're into Alice in Wonderland. The, uh, the boats, where have the boats gone? Uh, Paws and Claws part two. This is um, a little bag and a glasses case. Alphabet is animals, farm animals by the looks of it. Chickens and pigs. This is quite nice. Uh, B to B projects. They're quite nice, I suppose. I like those. The tape measure. And the um, the other one is that's a um, needle keep tape measure. And then the that's a little pin cushion. No, but I did quite like these sailboats. They're quite summery. Attach them to a piece of driftwood. They look nice to those. Quite like those. Um, there's a lot of things in here that I don't like. A lot of things that are the same as some of the other magazines that you get. But um, anyway, I'm thinking about unsubscribing to these English magazines because yeah they're not good so that's that's showing you what's in this month of cross stitcher well august it is issue 360 that right the postman has been today and he's brought me a lovely little surprise from a lady i won't mention her name because she does watch my floss tubes hello and thank you um, but I won't mention her name because she probably doesn't want me to tell you who she is. Um, she did send me um, a message um, saying that she had some uh, purple ribbon that she bought and she doesn't use it anymore. And would I, uh, she'd like to send it to me if I was willing to give her my address. And I said, yes, thank you very much. And she said she had something else to send me as well. So I'll show you what she sent because this, I mean, I said we're going on post. Um, I was contacted yesterday for the address, for my address, and this came today, the following day. So the post is really good in England. And this is the ribbon that I've been sent on these three spools. And she said she didn't need it anymore. So thank you very much. That is very much appreciated. And thank you for thinking about me. That was a lovely gesture. Thank you. And not only that, I did have a letter, which I won't read. And then in, in here, this is what, this is what, this is what she sent me. Now, this lady is on my Instagram and she made she made one similar to this and I said, oh, that's that's gorgeous. Do you sell them? And she said, no, she only does them for herself. She's not, she doesn't think that she's good enough to be able to sell them. She wouldn't want it to fall to pieces and then somebody be unhappy. Now, wait till I show you this. 
I can assure you. And this lady says she's 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 not been stitching very long. Well, sewing very long. She only sews for herself. And this is what she's sent me. I love the material. It's gorgeous. I can't I can't fit it all in the can't fit it all in the frame. So then when you open it, I'll have to show you individual sides I think. Or I might be able to hold it over. When you open it, this is what it looks like inside. So it's felt inside. Um, this is a, I'll fold it in half, it's easy. This is a pocket, a zip pocket. And the pins there are for holding um, the fancy thread sprung, uh, you know, on the bobbins. So I thought that was a that was a better idea. Uh, I think that's a brilliant idea to pin them. This side you've got a pocket, so you can put your pattern in there. The pattern can go in. Let's just put. Just put it in. So your pattern goes into there. Look at that. <laughs> this is made for this pattern. <laughs> That's beautiful. And the um, the elastics at the side are for you to put a pencil in or you see, um, a seam and ripper. Or um, a pencil. I don't think you put your scissors onto that. Or you could, you could actually attach your your ring that you have your scissors onto there. But this, and then this piece is a zip piece on this side. Um, and she did say she doesn't. She stitches in hand, and she doesn't know whether a cue snap would fit in there. But no, it wouldn't. But you would get a small hoop in there. But uh, you can store your some more patterns or thread in there. But um, yeah, this is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. So I'd like to say thank you very much for that. <laughs> she apologised to me for it not being purple. I do like purple. I don't wear a lot of purple. I tend to wear a lot of blue, um, as you've noticed um, in my videos. I do wear a lot of blue and um, let me just put one of those on there so you can see. And the idea of the felt being in the middle is so, um, if you've got any loose cotton threads, um, if you put them onto it, it just... Um, it just sticks to it naturally so you don't lose anything so that's let me just show you that that's what the pins are for for attaching your fancy floss and as I say it, with it being felt inside it naturally clings and it does I am over the moon with this gift that I've been sent from this lovely friend that I've just started um, corresponding with over um, Instagram. That's how I found this lady. I've I've got her to um, um, not sign up. Uh, I can't think of the word I'm looking for. To, oh, join. Um, I've got to join the uh, Yorkshire Stitching Group, um, which she has done, so she can meet other ladies who live in Yorkshire as well. And um, she says she's not brave enough to come to the stitch along yet, but anyway, we may get her there. I don't know. Um, so, yes, I'd like to say thank you very much and thank you. 
I love this. I love this material. It's It was a lovely surprise. And the postman nearly walked away with it. Postman came, put everything through the letterbox, because there's quite a lot. My magazine, two magazines for me today, and some letters. And Bill went to pick it up. And there's a card being put through the letterbox saying that there's a parcel to pick up from the depot. So he sort of went down the path and saw him going down our street and shouted, have you got a parcel for us? And he said, yes, it won't fit through the letterbox. And that's what they do. They put, if they don't fit through the letterbox, they don't bother knocking on the door. They just put a card through and you've got to go pick it up. But anyway. So I'm glad I didn't have to go pick it up and we did get it today. And uh, yeah, so I don't think there's anything else to tell you. We've been this morning, uh, Bill's been for his, his bloods taken this morning um, before he goes. Next week, Monday, Thursday. Next Thursday. Thursday, goes next Thursday. For some more bloods. For some more and bloods. Then the and then Monday. the following week, following Monday, he goes for his infusion, infusion which will, will be his. Is eighth. it his eighth one? Eight. I think he's having ten altogether. Uh, and then hopefully, fingers crossed, because it's all going well at the minute, he'll be on tablet. So we're hoping that it is going to stay as it is. So. I think that's all our news um, up to date. So thank you all for watching and we'll see you later. Bye.